Hey everyone, I am here to do my 37 week update for you guys. I'm really not sure how many of these updates we are going to be having, but yeah, today I'm 37 weeks. I'll go ahead and read what she's at this week. I am coming down or recovering from a cold that I came down with. So we have 20 days left. She is 19.25 inches long. She's the size of Swiss chart and she's 6.3 pounds approximately. But that is what she's looking like. So I feel like I haven't updated for you guys in forever. I know it's been a really long time. I wanna say it's been about a month. I'm not joking when I say that we have been so busy and life has been so crazy between me working full time and then we actually end up closing on our house in two weeks and then we have Adeline in three weeks and Bella's been doing awesome at soccer. And there's just so much stuff going on that my life is literally crazy right now. So I update as much as I can. There's not really been too, too much to update you guys on. So I'll just go ahead. We've had a few midwife appointments now. We are going every single week, obviously for the, for the next month almost. She's head down. I've been having contractions, nothing crazy like I'm going to go into labor, but they have been somewhat painful the beginning of last week and they've continued they're getting a little more often like probably four or five times a day but nothing consistent or anything like that I do have a feeling that I'm gonna go within the next two weeks I obviously don't know for sure but she's just like way down there I've been walking today we walked a trail I've just been trying to do some stuff that gets my body ready to have this baby because we are so ready to just have her and <laughs> for her to be here and I, I'm just excited and we have everything ready. We had my baby shower uh, last weekend and we got everything that we needed and more. We were so blessed we didn't even need everything that we got so we were just really surprised to get all of that but we are so ready for Adeline to make her little arrival. I've been feeling extra full but I have dropped so she is low. A lot of people have noticed that and she's like sitting right on my cervix ready to come out. I've been measuring right on track at the past two appointments, so that's really, really good. My blood pressure has been awesome. So like with Bella, I had the preclampsia. That is nowhere even in our radar right now. They had me stop taking the baby aspirin, which I was taking since 14 weeks, just to help the preclampsia and, you know, help it that I don't get it. And it seemed to have worked. I'm feeling really, really good. Being that I'm 37 weeks pregnant, I feel like I should be a little more miserable or people usually are a little more miserable and I just, I don't, I'm not that miserable. My back hurts every now and then, but that's kind of been an issue the whole pregnancy. I haven't been craving anything really or anything like that besides like chocolate. Today I was craving chocolate and cake and brownies. It's always like a chocolate cake type deal. But that's really the only thing I've been craving. I'm just, I'm so excited just to meet her and just to see her and see how everything goes. We have everything ready. The car seat we pulled out today. I still haven't packed my bag. I know, I'm such a procrastinator. I probably honestly won't pack it until like my water breaks or my contractions are getting bad. And I feel like that's when I should pack it. But I'm really gonna try to pack it tomorrow because it's Memorial Day and I don't have to work. So hopefully I can get that packed. If you guys want to see like a video of it, let me know. I'll try to get that up, but it's going to be nothing special. It's pretty much just going to be like an overnight bag because I don't know. I don't do all the extra stuff, like bring a ton of extra stuff. Like I feel like a lot of other YouTubers do. I'm pretty minimal when it comes to that. So I don't think it's going to be anything too, too crazy because we live seven minutes from the hospital. So if Nick has to come home and grab something for me, he can. It's not a big deal. I also got my strep B culture done this past week and I don't know if it came out negative or positive. I'll find out on Wednesday, so in three more days. It's weird that I've been going every week now. I'll find out in three more days from the midwife if I came out positive or negative for that. With Bella, I was negative for strep B, so I don't know if that ever changes or like if you're negative for strep B, you always are negative for strep B or if you can get it with a different pregnancy. I'm not sure how it works. Yeah, I feel like energy-wise, I have a decent amount of energy, and I'm just feeling good. I'm not exhausted. I mean, I'm tired, obviously, but I don't feel like I ran a 25-mile run or anything 
like that. But I will go ahead and show you guys the belly because I feel like I should wrap up this video. I have stuff to do. Things are crazy, like I said. But I'm going to go ahead and leave my Instagram down below that you guys are actually right here. That you guys can follow me on because that's where it's going to be posted first about a baby picture or whatever. So follow me there if you guys want to get the first views on that. But I'll go ahead and show you my belly. From the side. The front. From this side. So yeah, she's definitely dropped. So that is all for this update. I will see you guys either in the next update or in a labor delivery video type deal. So thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.